Extreme heat waves that hit once in 50 years will now happen every decade. I don't feel places like this should exist. It's too hot. It's too hot. Um, I'm drinking as much water as I can. Um, I'm drinking my weight in water. Once in a decade, torrential rains are now 1.3 times more likely. Yesterday I was completely... We only shoveled, threw stuff out, did whatever we could. My mother is also homeless. The company where I work is flooded. Everything is broken. Severe droughts that occurred once in 10 years could now take place every five or six years. <laughs> But for almost three years now, things have changed. There is no more rain, no more fields because of the drought. I can go for days without eating. Stark warnings have fueled a recent UN climate report. The Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change focuses more on unprecedented natural events, while many changes underway are irreversible for centuries. Scientists agree that humans are to blame. The report reads, it is unequivocal that human influence has warmed the atmosphere, ocean, and land. And human-induced changes have already taken a heavy toll. Over the past 50 years, climate disasters have claimed 2 million lives. Another report published by the medical journal The Lancet says rising temperatures are damaging human health in roughly every measurable way. Heat triggers violence and disrupts sleep. Flooding can increase suicide rates. And future generations are also at risk. A research published in the journal Science says children born in 2020 will endure seven times more heat waves and three times more river floods over their lifetimes than people born in 1960. The globe has already heated up at 1.1 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. Most of the world signed landmark Paris Accord in 2015, pledging to limit the temperature rise to 2 degrees Celsius and make efforts to keep it under 1.5. But we are way off track in meeting the goals. The UN says, based on nations' current climate commitments, the Earth would be 2.7 degrees Celsius warmer by the end of the century. Researchers found that greenhouse gas concentrations hit a new high in 2020, despite a temporary drop during COVID-19 lockdowns. And governments still plan to produce much more fossil fuels. Passing the two-degree mark could make life bearable for millions of people. Scientists believe such a catastrophic failure can be minimized or avoided, but the rapid and ambitious actions are a must. As the UN chief Antonio Guterres warns, there is no time for delay and no room for excuses. Wahayang CGTN.